Hello, today I'm going to be giving a video tutorial of how to install Linux Mint onto your laptop. First thing that you will want to do is search Linux Mint into your browser. For that we are going to be using Google Chrome. Now just type in Linux Mint and you should find that there is a downloads tab. Click on the downloads tab now that you are on the downloads page please scroll down to the cinnamon 64-bit link most current desktops will have 64-bit unless you're using an extremely old computer always select 64-bit cinnamon is actually the most featured so this would probably be the best option then just scroll down and select a server for us, we're just going to use Clarkson University. While that is downloading, we are going to now go to another tab and we are going to search Pen Drive Linux. Now that you've searched this, it should come up boot and run Linux from a USB flash memory stick. We are going to, get, are going to go to the USB Universal Installer. Now that this page is loaded, we will scroll down and we are going to click on the Download UUI Universal USB Installer 1.9.7.7.exe. This should save directly to your downloads folder. It's not a very big file, so that is also a benefit. Now that the download for Linux Mint has finished, we can continue on with the process of making the USB boot drive. At this point, plug in a preferably USB 2.0 flash drive. This will allow for the BIOS on the laptop to detect it a lot easier. Sometimes USB 3.0 can be a little finicky. Now you need to go to your downloads folder and you need to find the USB boot drive maker. So it should be at the bottom somewhere. Right there it is. Universal USB installer. We're going to click on it and start it. And some, depending on your OS, it should prompt you if you want to start it or not, which mine is, but right there it's being finicky. So you just want to click yes. And I agree. So now the program started. What you're going to do is you're going to go select a distribution, which we're using Linux Mint. So you simply just click on Linux Mint. And then it's going to say pending browse to your Linux Mint ISO. So we're going to click on browse. And it should take you directly to your downloads folder where your Linux Mint should be sitting. This is an ISO file. There it is. You just hit open. Now we want to find our flash drive it should detect that the flash drive you plugged in and it should give you the storage and what the name of it is and then you also want to format it so we're just gonna format it and you want to make sure that this is the drive because if not you're gonna be wiping something else in your computer which would not be good um, in case of the persistent file it really doesn't make a difference but if you want to you can just set uh, like a small one it's not going to do anything really and then you just have to hit create warning and it's going to give you a warning that you need to back up data on the drive because it's going to be erasing the drive which we are so it's okay and now you just let the program run and it should make your USB boot drive Okay guys, now that we have the USB boot drive made, we are going to actually install it onto the laptop. So the first thing you are going to want to do is plug in your USB drive into a USB 2.0 port if you have one available. If not, USB 3.0 will work probably. Now to get to the BIOS, we are going to have to hit the power button and F2 or escape or one of the function keys. Depending on the manufacturer, it can be different. In my case it's F2 so we're going to hit the power button 
And then we are going to repeatedly hit F2. Okay, now we are in the BIOS. So once we're in the BIOS, we are going to go over to the boot menu and we're going to make sure that the USB FDD is the first priority. This is what we want the computer to look at first when the computer turns on. If the USB FDD is in the right spot, then good. If not, just look at the instructions on the bottom of the screen. They'll tell you how to rearrange it. It's usually not too hard. And then once that's done, you just go over and hit exit save changes. It's going to prompt you yes or no, and you say yes. And your computer will restart. As you can see now, it says boot Linux Mint 18.1 cinnamon 64 bit. So it did see the flash drive, and we're going to hit enter. Currently, right now, the programs that are on the flash drive are analyzing what's already on the computer to see what it has to change. Still waiting. It's running through background processes currently. And now we are on the Linux Mint temporary menu. So right now it's running Linux Mint off of the flash drive. We want to install it onto the hard drive. So what we are going to do is click on install Linux Mint. Scrolling a little. So it's going to give you the options of your language. You're just going to hit OK. This is all very similar to setting up Windows for the first time. Uh, I do not want the Wi Fi right now, so we're just going to hit no. If not, you guys know how to connect to the Wi Fi. You just click on the one and put in your password. We don't need third party software. Right now it's detecting to see what's already mounted that in the case of hard drives and it's right now analyzing. So in our case we want to install Linux completely and erase the disk that was originally on it. So in our case we're going to hit erase disk and install Linux. You can also do a dual boot but this can be sometimes a little more complicated. I'm going to hit continue telling us how big the file is. Continue. Our time zone. What, again, what keyboard layout you want. The name of the computer is called this. And we don't need a password, but I guess I can put one in. I'll just put RI. RI. There we go. And now it should be installing Linux Mint. This can take up to 10, 15 minutes depending on how fast your flash drive is, so just sit back and hang tight. Okay guys, so the installation is done. It says installation is finished. You can continue testing Linux Mint now, but until you restart your computer, any changes that you make will not be saved or preserved. So what we're going to do is restart, but when we restart it, we are going to unplug the flash drive. So we're going to hit restart now.
and then we are going to unplug the flash drive. It's going to give you this message sometimes. That's fine. Just hit the power button. Do a hard reset. Hit the power button and just let it boot up. And there you have it guys. This is your tutorial on how to install Linux Mint onto a laptop. Hope you enjoy. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Remember guys, stay techy.